Um, and that's sort of how it goes. But I would say that the entire process and the whole creative process around this album was super like interactive, actually, mm -hmm. because we didn't just write it in one go. Okay, these are the sessions, these are the well, the months or the weeks that we are spending and just writing new material. Mm -hmm. As I wrote, we just felt like anything was possible. This is the first time we were, we're dropping an album completely, you know, independently, mm -hmm. uh, where we don't have a record label. So we kind of had this mindset of everything is possible. We can do whatever we want or whenever we want. Yeah. Um. So, so yeah, so when we had a couple of tracks that we really believed in, Come Hell or High Water, Desolation, we just said, let's go to the studio, record them. And so, and I, I still remember sitting there tracking guitars or bass or so. And meanwhile, Eddie is in the kitchen writing lyrics or trying out something for a new demo. So, and when he's recording something, I just, we, we kind of just switched places. Yeah. And we were writing a bit on the road here as well. Like we just brought some studio equipment or just a computer with us when we were, we were touring quite a bit um, during the, the the creative process or the, the writing cycle. Mm -hmm. So it's been really, for example, I remember when we were, uh, we did a show uh, with Architects, opening for Architects in Poland. Mm -hmm. And a few days later, we were playing the Bakken Festival in, in Germany. Mm -hmm. Um, so we decided we had a few days off. We rented a big Airbnb just in the middle of nowhere in Germany. We had the whole crew with us. So we just, you know, we just put up our studio equipment and we pretty, even had pretty bad reception, you know, so there was no distraction and nobody could really reach us in because it barely even had internet there. Yeah. yeah. So we could just get, get into that. And that's where we wrote Continuum actually, uh, at least finished that song. Um, I remember we played a festival called Full Metal Cruise, mm -hmm. which is a cruise. And uh, we were literally just in the cabins because we had quite a lot of time to spare. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll just opened the computer and we had a song called Beyond the Pale um, that had one structure and one demo draft, or actually quite a few of them that we didn't really feel like it wasn't really just there. You know, it, it didn't really make the cut. Mm -hmm. So... I had some thoughts about maybe maybe we can rewrite or maybe there's something else we can do with the song. And so we just worked with it right there and uh, kind of finished the track and rewrote maybe 50% of the song. And then just closed up the computer and went to play a show. Wow. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much how, how the whole thing went. It was very, we just went a lot by intuition on what felt right in the moment and what we could do. And yeah, I think it was it was very liberating. Uh, liberating to to do this and and write music in this way actually for sure so start to finish when did the album creation start and then when did you guys wrap it up and say album's done um i think over the course of 2022 um we we had to get back into well, the live aspect of things, we had to get back on the road, really, because yeah. the previous album, um, Heaven in Hiding, was released in 2021, um, quite late in November, I think. Um, and it was a bit unclear, didn't know really, didn't really know what was going to happen when we we're going to get out there and tour and play shows again. Uh, so obviously, we had to throw ourselves into this um over 2022, uh, when we started with an acoustic tour, then we did the album tour in Europe, the festival summer, and then we went on, um, we went on uh, a support tour with uh, with In Flames in Europe, mm -hmm. which is a very very important band for me and Eddie. Um, well, growing up in Sweden, and so when we were young and you know in our early teens, and so In Flames was just the biggest band that we could ever just had them yeah. you know it was just huge for us yeah and and that kind of felt like something we really needed to do in order to sort of close the chapter of heaven in hiding it felt it felt really like this was a, a really a full circle thing Absolutely. Um, being able to to be kind of recognized as um well as to go on tour with with your, your biggest inspirations really yeah. uh, after yeah after an album release like this um so coming back from that tour, which was also in December before everything kind of shuts down and it's time for holidays and, and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, we started writing early 2023. I don't actually remember when, but I believe it must have been January or February or something. 
And then we kept on riding and, and let's say it took us maybe eight or nine months or so until we said that, okay, our album is done here. Um, but over that course of time, we had already started releasing new songs. So, I mean, the album was, as I mentioned before, not finished uh, when the first single came out uh, and it wasn't fully recorded either. So we didn't really know if this is going to take six months, one year, one and a half year or so, but we felt, let's say maybe around, well, at least after summer-ish last mm -hmm. year, we felt that, okay, this is this is it. This is the new album. Let's record the last songs and yeah, let's go for release. So how did you know that the album was done? Because you guys, it's not like you guys had like a, a time limit or anything because you didn't have kind of a label pressuring you. How did you, mm. how did you know you were done? Very, very good question. Very good question because you, you never really fully know, right? Yeah. Um, but I believe that, I believe that at some point you have to sort of tell yourself that now you have, you have covered you have covered the topics that you want to communicate and not mm -hmm. just lyrically, but also musically. Um, of course, you can never know if there's going to be another al another song coming out or a, a yeah. better song, if there's something else you could have done or so. But but we felt like the, the songs that came out and made it to the black uh, are so fitting and are completing each other so to that extent where we kind of feel like well we are kind of showcasing all the aspects of what we think this album is um, because we have sort of now understood um, what we want to say here and, and what we want to deliver with this album mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I just think that we, we had to kind of just you know draw the line and said that okay this is it this is the album and um, if there's something else coming out in the future that we feel is coherent with this one or so who says that we can't release that as well you know in a new format yeah there exactly. you go. fair enough yeah because if you don't give yourself that line of okay we're done you're just gonna keep working on the album forever <laughs> yeah yeah I, I would say so 